I've been aware of, of uh, what they were doing before I went in, but um, when I walked out into, into the crowd, even it's an interesting place because the fans are ICW fans, they're not necessarily wrestling fans. So um, I was quite well travelled. And when I went out there, it was almost like half the people didn't even know who I was, you know. And you know, I'm not a, not afraid to admit that or anything. Was, you know, they're just they're ICW fans, and they were there to cheer the ICW guys, and I was getting booed, and they were cheering the the other guys, and that's like a beautiful thing that they've they've kind of developed their own market, you know. And then, uh, but the atmosphere, like you know, once those people take to you, the atmosphere you just give you goosebumps, and you just want to give them more and more because like they really. Like they really come for everything, and they really like appreciate what you do. And of course, afterwards, you know, especially in the garage, the building itself, and um, you know, it opens up just into a nightclub. You know, and like every single one of those fans will come up and shake your hand, and they say, "Hey, thank you, thanks very much for coming." You know, whatever. So, uh, yeah, that's that's a beautiful place, and I urge anyone who hasn't checked it out online to check it out online. The UK scene, especially, is on f is just completely thriving ev everywhere I go, and. Um, ICW in Scotland like sells out 600, 800 thousand people like without even having to announce a match or, or who's who's wrestling on the show. Uh, they've got Rev Pro in London, uh, Progress in London. Uh, there's Fight Club in uh, Wolverhampton, which is shot. It's uh, you're wrestling in a, in a ring surrounded by a cage in a nightclub, and there's like two or three hundred people there, and they're all banging on the cage. So there's like a big variety of wrestling like styles as well, like um, like kind of bunched up inside such a little country of England, like, you know, so um, that's definitely one of my favourite places to wrestle at the moment. Uh, well, I first got into wrestling uh, when I was a child. Uh, it's one of my earliest memories. Uh, growing up with my granddad, I would have been maybe around three or four. And I remember watching that on uh, World of Sport. So it was kind of something that always uh, captivated me, like, from a young age. I kind of never grew out of it.